The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is hoping to take a bite out of crime with two new canines dedicated to sniffing out contraband. But these dogs aren't going to be in the street. They're going to be on the inside, working at the county's detention centers and in the jail. Tintama Bay's Eric Glasser explains why the sheriff says it is a necessary step to keep inmates and workers safe. Meet Watson and Holmes, a pair of German short-haired pointers with a nose Good job, buddy. for illegal drugs. The sheriff's office has always had canine units available for drug searches at its jail and detention centers, but Watson and Holmes are being brought in to sniff people and packages here full time. I want to have dedicated canines in the jail where their sole focus is making sure they're in detention facilities. Sheriff Chad Cronister says two years ago they had 289 contraband incidents. This year that number was down to 172. In their first week on the job, Watson and Holmes have shown their value, sniffing out a substance in an abandoned backpack and again hidden in the underwire of a female inmate's bra. We're trying to determine now not only what the substance is, but how did it get in there? Chronister says in the past year, 46 inmates have been exposed to some sort of illicit narcotics to the point where they needed Narcan to revive them. Two members of the HCSO team were also treated. Some of the contraband comes from the outside, but three jail vendors have been arrested in the last 90 days and two inmate deputies were charged earlier this year. I don't think anyone's immune to the temptation of making additional money because the inmates are willing to pay. In addition to the enhanced canine sweeps, Sheriff Cronister announced that they would soon be upgrading the scanners at the jail and detention centers as well. 25% more effective, he said, and that includes everyone, inmates, visitors, contractors, vendors, and yes, even his own deputies. Again, I, I know a lot of people like, how can you do that to your employees? This has to stop. In Tampa, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. Watson and Holmes both have 200 hours of training. They can also be used for tasks outside of the jail, outside of the detention centers, but their focus will be on sniffing out contraband inside of those facilities.